Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations and today we have a special guest. Come on down! What have I won? Um, you get to help me for the day. Oh, I'll do. The plane's going to help us fit the axle today and the front legs, I think. Yeah, we'll do as much as we can. Do as much as we can in the day. And Leanne is going to be camera lady and is going to poke a camera in our faces and really get in, get in the way and annoy <laughs> us as much as possible. I'll try my best. Try our best. Right, let's go and see the axle. Right, so we're just going to put it on a lower stand so we can try and wheel it under the car. It's not far off as it is. Shall I lift the, the axle? And you... Oh, I was going to sit on that and whether it's going to be all right. Oh. You put your one in the middle. There we go. I'll oh. do my one. Aye. The Group A ones are made of aluminium. Are they? Mm -hmm. And it stands up to the old Group A stress. Yes, and they have offset um, uh, tubes to create negative camera. No way, that's so cool. Yes. Man, he knows some stuff. <laughs> he knows some stuff? He knows some stuff. I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I only know what I read <laughs> and what I've done. Um, Are we wheeling him? Are we wheeling him? I think we could probably go straight through sideways ways, couldn't we? Ooh, your panelled rod tower was in the way. Yes, yeah, true, yeah, right. Yeah. Might have to raise the car up a bit then. Let's see how much further this centre ramp will go. That's it. That's your max. So we're going to go straight across, are we? Yeah. Let me move your, let me move your struts. We can get them in and weave them in the front of the Ponard rod tower. I'll go the other side. We are through. Really? I reckon we, we tuck the handbrake cables over the top because that's where they're going to run uh, originally. That get it, get them up out the way of the. Uh, yeah axle stand so when we tilt it into line um, it'll be out of the way then. That'll be handy wouldn't it? Yes and we thought we'll have a third axle stand just to, to hold the keep, keep it keep yeah. the pumpkin as the Americans call them. Keep the pumpkin, uh, keep the pumpkin up in the up in the air. Nice right let's um let's weave some brake cables. They do cross over don't they? They do yes. I wonder if I could just See those little holes? Yeah in you go Let me dive in. I think I got him. Hey, that's the guy. Do they crisscross over the They top do of the crisscross axle? over, yeah. Inside the car. Is this? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> this side's lighter, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be enough for it to tilt. Um... Yeah. Um, third stand, you say? I reckon, yeah. First part. First part going in. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I'm hospitalised. That's got to come forward. It's got to come forward a fair amount, inches, isn't it? Yeah. You should have enough. There's enough room on there, isn't there? Yeah, Dangerous things unlocking the brakes. Oh god. Unlock, unlock that rear corner there. Oh, I can't do it. Oh. Karate! 
bump stop for the axle, do you know? Yes. Yeah. That's like our rough central sort of guide. Let's see. We're actually pretty close, I think. Let me, let me pull it apart. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, well, <laughs> refitting is just the reversal of removal. That's what Hayden says. I found bits. Ooh. Stuff. That is a thing. That's also a thing. They're for the holding the springs on, so I know what they're yeah. for. They go up in there. They must be for the top, the they, top trailing arm. Yeah. So they sit in kind of. Oh, you can sort of see by the squidge. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that goes like that. Right. And then your torque reaction rods uh, to prevent your tramp in when you're and all, all when that. You're at, when you're out point, is this a 2.1, is it? 2.3. It's a 2.3 when all that 115 horsepower goes through the axle. Has it really got that much? No. 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 I, was, I, was just just hype, I was just hyping you up. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how much it's got left, actually. Not a lot. It's all down your set. <laughs> I'll have yeah. you know she likes to use a lot of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right then. B -b -b bolts. So do we reckon... What's your funky bolts then? Those would be the top bolts. No, there's four of them. We've just, we just got bolts. We've got bolts. These are the super long ones. Those are the longest. They're probably for the back end of the trailing arm. That could be the ones that go into the chassis. Axle bushes. Top. We've got two more. Oh my god, there's loads of bolts. Mm. <laughs> oh. Expertly not oh. labeled. Oh. Oh. They're all very specific, I think. They, they, are. they are. So we've got an axle bushes, front torque, or rear torque, front of the uh, training arm. So you got, you got I got, I've got the longest ones oh. here. Is that that's not for there, is it? Oh yeah, because it would go through the shock as well, does it? No, the, the shock separate. So, so this is the shock bolt because be it has to go bolt. through there the tube. Lower shock bolt. And and through the shock. The uh, that's the the top one of this triangle plate is quite short. Probably, I've got new bolts to replace. Someone forgot to restore some of the important bolts. <laughs> That's all right. They've just been hanging around in some evapo rust for a while. That's they turned right. themselves we, a lovely shade of black. They look black, yeah. They're, that, that's how they were supposed to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing a bit of bolt, bolt um, forensics, as Clayton this suggested. Is, this is forensic bolt analysis by Lewis Whiteland. I uh, have... I'm not being ignorant, by the way. I'm just accessing the uh, 240 series uh, parts catalogue. Just happened to have it downloaded <laughs> on my phone with all my other Volvo stuff. These are the trailing arm bolts and they are lovely. They're, well, they're rust free after being sat in evapor rust for Six however months. long <laughs> it's been in there for. Oh, it's bloody there! <laughs> I got it. I can hold this side. That, that should just like ease its way up into it. Like oh, yeah. So oh, we go. yeah. Uh, yeah. Long bolt or short bolt? Uh, long bolt. Your long one. Make a little plastic hammer. Hammer hand. Uh, I've got new nuts. <laughs> <laughs> These little beauties. So 
See, I was going to wear my head torch, but then it just dazzles like people's eyes at the wrong time. Yeah, I love head torches. They're fucking brilliant, aren't they? Did you swear then? Oh shit, I did, didn't I? Lewis. Oh, bucks. I'm trying to keep my language like to an absolute cleanliness of you know <laughs> cleanliness is next to godliness. And I all can't that. quite get my chubby hand in there to do that. Let me get my tiny little sausage fingers. Chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to see it, Lou. You don't even need to see it. You need to see it. He's using the, the mechanic force. <laughs> and you've got Volvo fingertips. Do you know what we haven't yeah. done, Leanne? Um, we haven't given uh, your mighty die brace. Uh, thanks for selling us these super mega heavy duty trailing arm. I mean, look at, look at the, 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 that's some heavy duty stuff. These yeah. are monsters. Yeah. and they are the torque rods for the rear axle on 240 and they come the from Classic Swede. Classic Swede. I'll put a link in the description. So Please do. We yeah. also got this panard, adjustable panard rod from Classic Swede. Um, not a sponsor of the channel, just um, letting you know where these parts came from. Uh, what else did we get from there? The lowering kit. The 240 parts. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He breaks old ones. He's got new parts. I'd never seen anything so industrial as them. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he found it. Yeah, he found, found the it. old one. So the difference. What we'll do is we'll measure the distance from the uh, bush to bush, and then we'll be able to line these up yeah. approximately the right length. Jeez. And um, the beauty of these ones is one of these is a left-hand thread, so all you have to do is turn the centre, and it, it gets longer and shorter. Good old turn buckles, eh? Good old yeah. turn buckles. Turn buckle. But no, look, where's, where's the old one? Let's do side by side. From that. <laughs> from to from that. that. To that. Yes. Ooh, m -Ms. No, them. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh. We have jump forwards and stuff because Leanne went to get some lovely lunch and we've had a lunch break. Lunch break yeah. But the. The arm, the bottom arms are on, and the top arms are in. The axle is is there, isn't it? Basically there. Um, Kites is putting the bushes in the panard rod. Panard, yeah. Um, and I think basically we need to be looking at putting the shocks on. So <laughs> shock goes in at the top, and then there's a big bolt and a steel spacer for the bottom. <laughs> That's right, Louisa. Are you excited about that? That's it. Squeeze. Oh, quick. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> it's like a little factor. It is. I'll go get the... Oh my God, it's... It's, it's, it's okay, it's, it's going to rest against the thing. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a go. tap in, mate. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. I think I missed that. The way. Never mind. It was going so well with the filming. Right. Now they um, look extra long, don't they, those bolts? They do, don't they? But you've got to mount your anti roll bar on the front of it. To of them, course, so yes. Don't worry about that. So they we'll are have to the push right them, bolts. <laughs> we'll have to push them back out a little bit then to get the anti roll bar in. Uh, Maybe. It should do a bit of work out like in the week up before, aren't yeah, you? Just okay. bend it. Bend it I'll in. do that. I'll do that. Uh, you ready to put the panard rod on now, yeah? I think so. I've found a bolt and some nuts. I probably want to take that out unless we can stretch it. Oh, it's way off, man. Way off, man. I think the rest of these axles, axles, axle stands can come out. Lovely little shot here of the uh, suspension. Shotgun it. I just, I'd like to apologise for the quality of the filming in this episode. It's very hard to film under the back of a car. You wanted to borrow my microphone. Yeah. I'm lending with you two the With two other people, I'm trying to stay out the way. <laughs> Clayton's doing it properly and I'm just chucking stuff on. I know, I know. No, just so, for my Clayton, own peace of mind, that's all. What are you doing? So I found what I think is a centralised point on the car. I just want to see if the axle... Yeah, that Bumps up pretty in the middle, isn't it? Sit in. Which means there's an extra centimetre over on this side. So if it came back, there's oh. an extra two that side. So if you move it back one that way, evens it, out. it evens it out. But that's only going off of 
that, yeah. If that is the same and line. we'll probably adjust it according to where the wheels sit exactly. in the arch anyway. So it's maybe it's close line. enough. Um, now... We can use the panel rod to do that, and that will adjust the track yeah, slightly. Yeah, it will push it across, won't it? Yeah. Left and right. Um, and there's plenty of adjustment in the, uh, the panel rod. So that is not a problem whatsoever. That's exactly why you need adjustment on car. Oh man, I bet we should have put the springs in before the shocks. Uh, Woof. <laughs> you could do that. No, actually. Well, they're lowering springs, they might just go in. Uh, I, I have experience with these springs, and uh, if my memory serves me correctly. Oh, spring. I reckon they're about 33 because oh. they only need a tiny little compression. Oh my god, they're massive. <gasps> the 33. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so it's, it's, it's also not fully drooped, is it? No, no, no. Um, we'll get all the stuff out, it'll drop quite we'll, a lot more, I reckon. When I, when I fit my springs, when I decided to fit my springs, uh, the old standard springs pinged out, uh, and I literally just plopped them in, yeah. Slid these in. Same with the, the front legs, the, the lowering kit on the front is it'll quite drop. Funky. It's only got a drop like. The whip for that yeah, coil. it'll come down. Definitely. Yes. Lowering springs going in. Right, so we've got to somehow get that axle out, the axle stands out on the trolley. Jack, underneath yeah, the we can do that. Uh, should we put the top out on the panard? Yes, sure. Um, Nothing dodgy here. Nothing weird going on here, sir. One axle stands. Ah, 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 ah. It's still my bed. For anybody who knows Sesame Street. All the travel. There we go. Get this now. Okay. All right, you got that side to the trolley. It's not attached to the wood, by the way. Right. Are we going your way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's not attached to the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> and... Straight back, bend the legs. Moment of truth. <gasps> Loads of room. Loads of room. Right, there is a rubber ring that goes around the top bit, isn't there? I am in the middle of cleaning that. There's a spring seat and like a cushiony piece. There's nothing that goes on the bottom. No. But there is a cushiony bit that goes at the top. I'm in the middle of cleaning that. I chucked in some thinners earlier today. Okay, next bit to go on. These coney things. Oh my god, I'm flashing. I think that's running out of bath, isn't it? Do you want an extension? Oh. The rest is shh. New bits here. Well, they're not new, they're reconditioned. I don't think you can get these anymore, can you? New? Uh, no, you can buy them new. You can? Uh, top tip if you do buy them new, they come like uh, bare, not painted. Uh, put a couple of tacks of weld on because once that sits inside the spring, you it in. It's like a Krypton factor in itself. <laughs> Once it sits in the spring like that, uh, and you tighten it up under it, tighten it up under it, that stud comes loose. So oh, it just spins. It just spins round. So if you put a little couple of tacks of weld on it, top tip. It's a top tip top to save tip. you heartache in the future, <laughs> trying to get a G clamp in between there <laughs> to hold it. And yeah. Not worth it. No, not at all. Yay, Yay see, see, even see, the barbie agrees. Oh, did you hear this creak? Spring next then. Uh, yeah. Top tips for the uh, spring cup there. Yeah. Uh, so this little little bottom holding device, I like to call it a, a D cup, <laughs> shaped like a D. When you fit your spring in, it can be on a normal spring. You can just slide it straight. But oh no, no, he's gone. Sometimes they won't quite go in because of the lowerness of it. If you drop them in and locate him. Um, I don't think it actually locates that well on these springs, but... 
like this. Yeah. You just literally pop drop in. into space. It should. Into space. It should. Into space. In a space. Yeah. In space. We're gonna have to. Oh, sorry. Ah. My bad. It's alright. I fell out. <laughs> See what I mean? Ah. ah. No, there it goes. Put your feet upside down. <laughs> So should I rotate the spring? Will it seat better if it's rotated a bit? Uh, it, I think it just kind of finds its own. Oh, I think it just kind of finds its. It'll spring bolt down, won't it? Yeah. And I've given you. Do you want to do you want to put something other than an eye lock in there? Would that be better? Because uh, an eye lock's going to want to make it twist, isn't it? I've got um, flanged nuts. Really? <laughs> let's it's get a some, medical issue. Let's get some flanged nuts on these D cups. <laughs> They, they, M8s. That's, that's, that's like proper te technical talk there. This size? I, I kept a straight face. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you've got it. He's got it. Uh, I was mentioning about these um, studs. Sometimes they can spin in the cup. So, uh, stand by. <laughs> we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll attempt to hold it. This tool is a brilliant tool. That's the biz. If you do things with cars, go and buy one of these, you won't regret it. It's the shizzle. It is brilliant. It's one of the best birthday presents I've ever had. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is Leanne's birthday present. In all fairness, it is bolting her car together. In all fairness, I do really love it. It is a great bit of kit. Right, same again, Mr. Clay? Yeah, should we flip it? Flip it. I'm just going to cut, cut in front. You cut away. Spring goes in. Spring goes oh. out. That will need nipping. Oh, everything will be torn. Everything at will need the nipping. End. Yeah. yeah, when it's on the floor and it's jiggled. Happy, mm. happy? Happy, happy, joy, joy? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. That's it all in place. Another thing in place. Right. And left. Right, we've done the rear axle. We're moving very fast onto the front end of the car and put in the leg, lower arm, and I feel what like there's something else. What should we call these bits? Uh, the compression turrets. The compression turrets. That sounded technical. That sounded really good. I thought yeah. you compression turrets. Compression turrets? Yeah. No. Um, I'll get the whizzy thing, whiz that onto there. That is ready to go. And then we'll need to lift that in. Does baby approve? Baby approve? Is it good? Make a noise. I'll say a no noise. It's confirmation. <laughs> Wizard. What? Just slide in there, nice. Like that. Yeah, that slides up in there, nice. Um, which way do you want the bolt to face? Um, front to back? From front to back. Should we go front to back? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Oh, nice. Call plate. it a camera adjustment plate with your three marks and you can give it like central, positive and negative, or the way around. 
I didn't know it had marks. No idea. Yeah, and then there's a little dimple on the top of the strut tower, and you can line up the dimple to where you want the mark. Very cool. They thought of everything, didn't they? They did. Uh, so I'll do the heavy stuff. You're going to do the heavy lifting. I'm going to go Are up there and stand up and wait. Rotate. Guide it in. There we go. Get one on. Can you swing your bottom end forwards? Yeah, has your back gone on, is it? Back's gone on. There we go. Okay. Two on. Three on. Just about. You okay? Need some assistance? Um. When I uh, took the axle off, I took the axle off before all the front suspension. Yeah. And where it's pivoted there, that's the centre point of the weight of the car when you take the axle off. <laughs> it just tried to nose dive onto the right. Oh, yeah. So, oh, no, you don't. Uh, which one? Uh, I'm gambling on that's fine one. That's, is that the fine one? Oh, I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. Oh, wait, is that one? Is that the fine one? Or is it this one? Ah! Must be that one. I'm never. These two look like stones. That's why I don't do betting because if it's going to be one, it's going to be the last one I pick. Oh, these two are the for the course then. Do they need? They don't need washers underneath, do they? Oh, fuck. I'm not sure. I've got it. You've got it. <laughs> and then those two, which are the coarse ones, go on the double. But yeah, see what I mean about that thing sitting? You'll never get that in if no. you're trying to get that in. Do we need washers, Andrew? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, um, either. I don't think there'd be room for washers. No. That's nice. That's fairly uh, painless. That was easy. Nice. Nice and sloppy and loose. We'll get that a on. Bit of a first. clunk in your front suspension, sir. I don't think that'll pass an MOT. I can fix it for you. Hundred pounds an hour. Hundred pounds an hour. <laughs> Minimum one hour. <laughs> she knows. She knows. Um, these bits, the backing plates. Um, this is the original rubber seal. We're going to just put that on there. That'll keep that sealed. We've got these new replacements, uh, dust guards, same mm. as we put on the back, same make, same everything. Look how nice, fresh and clean it is though. They're lovely and clean and they go on like that. But no. they are, this bit needs a little bit trimming off because they, they don't quite fit between there properly but we also got these replacement bits from die brace original volvo parts original as well. volvo compare partner. that to the old ones look how rotten the old ones were yeah that's that's the old one you can, you can see through the metal oh god yeah look it's and that's the new one I mean, lovely and shiny shiny and really well plated um quality stuff so I'm going to trim a little bit off of this. This will go straight onto there. That will go onto there. And then we'll be ready for our hub. Ooh, hubba hubba. Hubba hubba. It, it, if, if you mention uh, die brace enough times online, you get 20% discount. <laughs> you ready? I believe that's good to go, Gabna. Nice. Nice. So what have you been doing? Um, um, these have been fitted and they're... Uh, Volvo stuff. Nice. And look. Wow, look how nice and shiny that is. Well, that is super shiny. Look at that, Clayton. <gasps>
I'd just like to say a big thank you to Clayton for coming in on um, Friday, taking his time, coming in, jumping on the car with us, getting the axle in, getting the front legs on, getting the lower arms on, and really giving us a big push on the car. Um, since heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. Yeah. Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, since then, the braided brake lines have gone in. I've made some more um, pipes for the front calipers. So I'm getting to show them that um, lovely handiwork there. Are... Brand new hard lines, brand new flexies. From hell, if you wanted to know. They, they came from yeah. eBay. You can get these in different um, colours. Um, we decided but, yeah. to go for the carbon. I think it's finish. a bit more, it's less, it's, it's more subtle than the other ones. Much more subtle, not blingy. Yeah. yeah. This still looks nice while being subtle. It does, it looks um, a business. Everything here is looking and is fantastic. It is gorgeous is what it is look at that mm. uh, but we have had all the brakes off to recondition them and we do need to do we need to fill them back up with fluids a full fluid flush and yeah. bleed the system now there is a special way to bleed a volvo there 240 there sure is let me show you in the book courtesy of mr haynes this is the uh, bleeding sequence for a volvo 240 now you'd think it'd be normal like rear right and um, it's quite complicated because the front calipers uh, uh, four parts and they've got three bleed nipples each. Three each. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to do them in the right order to get we'll it right. In the right order. And we'll probably run through it yeah. twice just to make sure. And then if we've got a squishy pedal, we'll run through it again. But here again. is, for, for your future reference, if you need to know, you can pause there. That is the bleed sequence. Right. Let's go to the first stop. We've already started. <laughs> We're at the first stop. This one. This is the uh, left rear, yeah? Yeah. The left rear? Yes. Yeah. This, is, this is the <laughs> left rear. Um, and we're gonna be using this pneumatic pulley thing to suck the fluid out of it. Vacuum. No we're laughing. Using... No, we're not no laughing. laughing. Okay. There's it's... no sniggers from here. No, sn no, ni no <laughs> sniggers. No knickers, no sniggers, no knickers. <laughs> we're gonna be using this vacuum to pull the fluid through the system. Yeah. Actually, the fluid's really clean, <laughs> considering this is what we've had left over in the system. That's that's not bad. Yeah, it's seen pretty worse. good, isn't it? Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely seen worse. But I would like it a bit more transparent like that. You can see the start of it's a bit orangier than the end of it. Yeah. Tiny. Oh. 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 Easy now. So, yeah, we're just going to use that to pull it through. It's a fairly slow process. You could, and you could do the time on a tested... Pump, pump, pump close, open. Pump and open, close... Yeah. And you can Super. also get that, that, that other system where you pump the tyre up and you connect it to the yeah, reservoir and push that. it through. Push, push but it through. we're using this method yeah. and most importantly, do not let your brake reservoir run dry. Let's go and check that. Let's go and check. So just double check that that brake reservoir is tippy top. It's pretty full as it is, but I'm just going to make sure it's full full. You can't have too much. Well, you can if you overflow it, but ah, there we go. Good job. There we go. So Try not to get... Secret. Brake fluid on your paint, guys. Yeah, do not get not brake good. fluid on your paint, you'll ruin not it. Good. Front, left, rear wheel, and then we're going to go left, front wheel, upper, inner, right. Yeah. So, to the, so back to the rear left. Round the ramp. Oh, we're doing all the walking around the ramp today. Right, so open the... Oh, open the... Come around. Open the nip. So as you can see, Lewis so that's is closed. the brake. Open, doesn't need a lot. And then just... Drop your, your tools on the floor. Make sure your airline's connected. There we go. Fluid and air bubbles getting pulled down. Right, I have to say, don't buy one of those off of Amazon. We've had it for a while, we just never got around to using it. Turns out First time sucks. I used it, I bought it a year ago. It was absolute pants. Um, We're going didn't back to old school. On, didn't didn't hold on to the nipple very well, so it just plopped off every time you let go of it. It was sucking and more it, air in. And it barely, yeah. barely had any power, to, uh, no oomph to it. So we're going back to the old tried and tested, pumpy, pumpy, squitty, squitty. That's, it, that's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Right then, um, I will... I'll pump. You pump, I will do the fiddling. Okay. Okay. I'm ready when you are. All right then. All right, down you go. Going down. Oh, to the, lovely. To the floor. Oh, hold on. Right, yeah. Up. 
down. Oh, nice amount of bubbles. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. So, uh, uh, the wheels are on. The wheels the are on. The suspension is on. It's in. The steering rack is in. You can steer. It's not. It's not all um, adjusted and fine-tuned and talked up because it has to sit on the floor for bolting up but, yes. rubber bushes and stuff. They need to be in the correct orientation before you nip them up. But you know what we did do? What did we do? We bled the brakes. We, we have attached brakes and bled brakes. There's only one thing left to do. We're going to put it on the floor. We're going to put it on the floor. Oh my God. It's going to go on the floor. This is the first time she's been on the floor in ages. Yeah, since well before Christmas. Oh my gosh. Right, Monica, time's come. And it's the first time we're going to see it lowered. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Go, um, go it's got its button. training wheels on, I will add. Yeah, these are these the wheels. These are the wheels. Know, yeah. it's gonna, they're the wheels we were going to use, but we found better wheels, so we're going to call them its training wheels. Training wheels. Louisa's here to join in with yep, the fun. Yep, she wants to see the car hit the floor as well. Oh my God, it's looking so good. I'm so excited to see it on its wheels. Big ramp going down. Big ramp going down. The suspense is killing me, make it go down faster. <laughs> the suspension is killing me. <laughs> oh, level one, down. Are you ready? Let's go and have a look at it side on. Oh my god! Oh my Ooh, god, look at that! Geez. Oh my, it's awesome. Look at it. It's so good. I just wanna I just wanna go and drive it. Oh my god. Actually the tire profiles are really nice on these wheels. Yeah, um the the I you know these we picked we picked these wheels to start with um, one because they were we found them lingering around the workshop mm. two because they do actually look quite good on the car. Um, they look awesome. They look I really love them. good on the car, yeah. but they don't look as good as those ones yeah, do. Yeah, they are pretty juicy those ones. But oh my god, look at it! Oh, it is beautiful. It's sitting quite a bit higher on the front to the back is what I'm seeing. Um, I mean, it's not settled yet, but hold on. Not settled yet. Don't push too hard on no. the wings. No, 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 no. I'm just. I don't know. It doesn't look too much higher, but definitely um, does look higher we'll, against the we'll, wheel. We'll have to. Um, we'll have to give her a drive. Yeah. Um, and let it settle and see what the springs settle like. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> All we have to do is put the fuel tank back in, pop the interior in. It can drive up and down the up and down the driveway. Give yeah. it a bit of a jiggle. But it is looking so good. Let's have a let's have a walk around. Gosh, this is a completely different car to what drove in, eh? Oh man. So so different. That rusty 240 that I was underneath poking holes in. <laughs> And I heard the words, I'll give you 1,300 quid for it. <laughs> and I went, hold on a second, I haven't finished poking holes in it. <laughs> yeah, but look at it now. Look at it now. Look at it now, mister. If only everyone would put two years worth of restoration. It was required massive spacers. Can you see them in there? Chunky ones. 40 mils on the front and 50 <laughs> mils spacers on the back to get them out to where they are. And I, I think they, they 
they have come out to exactly where I want them. Could have gone in a bit more on the front, but then those tyres are wider than the wheels. Yeah, disregard all these wheels because they're not going on the car. Yeah, they're not going so, on the car. So, and the spacers won't be, we won't be using the yeah, spacers. Yeah, it's only either, to get it on these, the ground. These wheels suit and fit a lot yeah. better than those wheels. We can move her around now, we can get her off the ramp. Oh, this is going to be awesome. It is another huge step closer to being back on the road. Massive step. She will be driving this year. Oh for, yeah, for all, sure. All, really all we have to do is adjust and nip up underneath yep. and I have a massive list of things to check through. Um, put the seats back in it, carpet back in it, door cards on it. It Jump goes for an MOT. MOT. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so close. Well, what an amazing instalment of Monica's journey. That was a big push. A big push. Huge <sighs> push. So close to go back on the road. We're oh. going to be driving it before you know it. Soon we'll be doing shakedown runs and an MOT. MOT, I can't wait to go for the MOT. Hopefully we get a nice big green tick. Right, well, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, tick that bell, give us a hand. You know, we need more subscribers. We want to hit that 10K ASAP. I suppose we'd better go. Yeah, ciao. 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 I have no idea where this goes. It looks important. It does look important.